For this movie, last year I planned with my uncle that he has to travel halfway around the world to watch this movie with me. That shows you how much, just how much I anticipated this film. See, this site is not a review site. This, this my channel is not a review channel, but because of how much I anticipated this movie, because I decided to do a review about this movie. Now, a lot of, there's a lot of hype on the internet about whether this movie is a good movie, or if it's a bad movie, or if it's just in between. I think that Batman v Superman was overly hyped, it was extremely anticipated. Remember it was supposed to come out last year, and now it was moved over a year. It's, it, this movie is a year late, that's the point here. People were extremely anticipated for this movie, extremely hyped. And so they created this fantasy film, fantasy moving their heads. and. That is what has caused people to feel disappointed in this movie. So when they go into the cinemas and they see this film and it does not satisfy them in one aspect or the other, they feel let down. There was too much hype, too much anticipation surrounding this film. Henry Cavill was a great actor as Superman. Ben Affleck did a great job. Amy Adams. Everybody was, was brilliant. Now I'm going to talk about the cons of this movie. What did I not like? Because certainly I didn't like everything about this film. This movie was good up until Lex Luthor. It's not Lex Luthor's acting, it's not Jesse Eisenberg and his whole twitchy nature that I did not like. A lot of people hated that. But I think that this movie had something that was missing, and that thing was motivation. Now, we understand why Ben Affleck was mad at Superman. We understand why Superman had to fight Ben Affleck. Remember, this is spoiler free. But we don't know why Lex Luthor was in this whole thing. He, there was no real deep connection. There was no emotion attached to him. He just wanted to be the bad guy. Uh, and we know Lex Luthor is more than that. We know Lex Luthor to be much more sophisticated. I mean, his plan in the movie was brilliant, you know? It was amazing. Wow, you can see how well he put everything together. But it's important for us to understand that we need to have motivation for each character. We understand each character's motivation. But Lex Luthor's motivation, even if there is a form of motivation, we do remember, he did say that he wanted the world to see Superman for who he truly is. But you see, that really didn't go anywhere. It sounded really shallow. That point was passed across to us in the sentence. And that's why we feel like Lex Luthor was pulled out of the video, was pulled out of the entire movie. You know what makes a good villain movie or a good villain story is when we can almost side with the villain. We can almost be like, uh, I see his point. Uh, when it comes to Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, I think she was put in there pretty well. And all the cameos, that those cameo, the cameo of the Flash and Aquaman, those were really cameos because they were like a few seconds long, except the Flashes, which was a little bit longer. But they were really, really short, and which is fine, I guess. It's a good way to tease us about what's coming and what will, what we should expect. The marketing strategy for Batman v Superman was a bit off as well. They told us it was BVS, Batman v Superman, Batman fighting Superman. <laughs> but we all know by now, even if you've not seen the movie, that it's definitely, it's not all just Batman v Superman. There's a lot more Justice League or the Trinity versus Doomsday. I'm not, I'm, that's not a spoiler because you've, we've all seen Doomsday in the, in, the, in the trailer, the trailer that no one liked. Anyway, that's my review for this movie. And when I rate this movie, when I look at this movie, I'll give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. My reason is because they did reach our expectations. It's just we had too much in our minds. We had a fantasy that could not be established, something that is not real. Now, all in all, I think the movie did well. And I can say that uh, the advantages to this movie is, is that we're going to see more of this. They're going to grow. They're gonna, there's going to be a lot more added to this film. When you begin to anticipate something to the extent that you create an imaginary thing in your head, it's going to be hard for the realistic thing to be able to fulfill that fantasy, that imagination. And when you're let down in just an aspect of the thing, you feel extremely disappointed. And I think that's the problem with a lot of DC fans today. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you soon.